And so the story that I'd like to start to share here is one that I've shared often um, and that I really enjoy from the Hadith literature. And it's a young companion of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, young when this story takes place, he was a young boy. And his uh, nickname was Aba Umair. And Aba Umair was, uh, you know, a young uh, boy who was very close to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, him and his entire family. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam would often go to their home and uh, visit and was well acquainted with the parents and the other sibling. And Abu Talha, the father, and Um Sulaim, the mother of this young boy, um, were... Uh, very close to the Prophet وسلم, as was his brother, who was probably more famous than this particular companion, Abba Umayr, and he was none other than Anas ibn Malik. And because of this closeness to the family, the Prophet وسلم, was well acquainted with the, the emotions and also um, you know, the, the everyday happenings of this particular family. And on one day, one occasion, the Prophet وسلم, entered into their home to visit them. And he found Abu Umayyad isolated, kind of a, you know, taking, taking a corner and was um, tearful. And I remind us how the Prophet وسلم, is always somebody who is very, very busy and has much, much uh, to do and then the affairs of the ummah weigh on his shoulders his blessed shoulders sallallahu alayhi wasallam yet he acknowledged and made uh, it was clear to him that there was something happening even with a young boy it would have been very easy to dismiss this incident or to you know to say to oneself I have a lot to do I don't have time for this right but the Prophet ﷺ made note of this and wanted to sort out what was happening, but also didn't want to go directly to the young boy and ask him so that he does not trouble him further. And here as we learn so many different lessons in emotional intelligence of the Prophet ﷺ. The first thing the Prophet ﷺ did is he asked the family members, he asked the others, what's happening with Abu Hamid? What is happening here with him? So that he understands the backstory before trying to give any advice, especially in a way that, of course, any advice coming from the Prophet ﷺ would be fully welcomed. But think about us. Think about us who are not divinely inspired. We often will give unsolicited advice to people without fully even understanding what's happening with them. Clearly, he saw that this young boy was distressed. He was crying. He was in distress, but he didn't immediately go to him and try to sort it out. He talked to the people around him. And once he sorted out what was happening, then he thought to himself, this is what I need to do next. And look at this beautiful story and how it plays out. He then approaches the young boy, Abba Umair, and he said his very famous statement that we now have in the hadith of how it is we know this story because it's part of the hadith literature. And he said to him, Ya Aba Umair, O oh, Aba Umair, ma fa'ala nughayr. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. I mean, just even the eloquence of the Prophet وسلم, that he literally rhymed the name Aba Umair to the story at hand. So here's what the story was. The story was the Prophet وسلم, learned from the family members that little, the little boy Aba Umair was crying and tearful and sad and distressed because his pet bird had passed away, had died. And the Prophet وسلم, goes to him and he says to him, Ya Aba Umair, ma fa'ala nughayr. And nughayr is, the translation of this word is, a small bird. It's a play on the word bird. And it rhymes. He could have used many other words for bird, but he uses this one to rhyme his name. Just the eloquence of Panala, the Prophet وسلم, and, and it was just a short phrase. That's it. It's a, it's a short sentence. Maybe it's not this long hadith that follows. And we think about, subhanAllah, this too is from emotional intelligence. When a person is in a state of distress, in that moment, in that acute moment, they don't need a lecture. They're not ready to hear a lecture. They're in a moment of distress. So as light as you can tread, the better. 
And we don't see a whole hadith that follows this. It actually was a playful, jestful way of the Prophet ﷺ talking to this young, very distressed boy. And understanding at the boy's level, coming down to his level and understanding that in his world, this is a big deal. So he also doesn't brush it off like some of us do with our own family and friends. And even to ourselves, we do this, we brush off distress. And sometimes we say things like, well, at least I don't have a bomb falling on my head. May Allah protect all of us, including our sisters and brothers that in fact do have bombs falling on their heads. But that's not your reality if you're not in a war-torn situation. And maybe your reality is comparatively smaller, but in your world, it's a big deal. The Prophet ﷺ would go to people at their level and meet them at their level. And this was part of his emotional intelligence. And then look at the way in which he asked the question. It wasn't just that it was playful. It was also very purposeful because there's nothing that the Prophet ﷺ says except that it is said with accuracy and that it is said with purposefulness. And so he asks him, not what did you do, accusatory, what did you do to the bird? He asks him, what did the bird do? <laughs> In a playful way, right? As in to say, what did that bird do? Right. And in that way, he, he was able to get Abba Umaid to, you know, to kind of not feel that level of stress, to kind of bring it down, right? And be able to engage with the Prophet وسلم, and understand that he was there to comfort him. There was no accusatory peace. Sometimes we do this to our friends and to our loved ones, our family members. We kind of, they're going through a tough time and we say, well, you know, you brought that upon yourself or things of this nature, right? But that's not from emotional intelligence. Emotional intelligence of the Prophet وسلم, from his sunnah is to meet people where they are, to understand their level of stress at their moment of distress. Empathy. Empathy is putting yourself in the shoes of someone else in order to feel, huh, what would it be like, huh, what they're feeling. You know, Ibn Hajar, has said about this hadith that there are at least 60, 60 rulings of sharia derived from this one little hadith. That is how weighty <laughs> this hadith is. It's phenomenal. There are so many lessons to be derived here. <laughs>